The new science, technology and innovation minister, Dr. Monica Mosenero, says Uganda is determined to ensure that more Ugandans have access to vaccines when they need them. As African countries struggle to access vaccines for COVID-19, Africa's Center for Diseases Control and the African Union are pushing for vaccine plants in Africa. Previously, Africa was excluded from vaccine manufacturing by so many technical things. But Africa CDC and the African Union, they have pushed for this. Now, a lot of barriers have been removed and uh, there is the Africa Vaccine Manufacturing Initiative uh, to set up vaccine manufacturing hubs uh, across the continent. And Uganda is vying for one of those hubs to start manufacturing. We already have one vaccine facility where we have laid a foundation stone, which we are building. That's a private initiative, but a government one is also going to be started soon. According to Musenero, the plants will only assemble vaccines, reportedly, from the COVAX facility and Russian manufacturers. We are looking at between 100,000 and uh, 200,000 million doses uh, per year. We have two phases, the fill and the finish, which is uh, we get a contract from an already licensed vaccine. We expect that to start in about six months, uh, depending on, uh, we are a bit worried about the manufacturers of the unit because it is manufactured outside and then just brought here and assembled. They fail to have a lot of overload, but if we, if we can get our unit, the manufacturing start, then we should be able to start with and finish in about six months, and then the complete vaccine manufacturing in about 12 months. Dr. Musenero unveiled the development during an inspection of a 143 billion shillings Kira Motors Corporation vehicle plant in Jinja. According to the lead engineers, the first phase of the project was delayed due to disruptions caused by the COVID-19 pandemic and its launch is expected in December. It slowed us because these uh, neck people would have moved a lot faster. Okay? But uh, there were times when we would have scaled down the size of the, of the workforce. You know? But what maybe slowed us more is really the, the pace of financing. You know, money was coming from Minister of Finance in those quarters. A business, a job like this, you cannot fund it through quarterly. That's why the neck is here. Is going by the time they finished, I think they have spent 32 months, but they could have done this thing in 18 months. Chira Motors Corporation is currently focusing on assembling buses before expanding its facilities to build trucks, hatchbacks, saloons and SUVs in the second in subsequent phases. We the engineers here. We design, we specify the components, we ask you the private sector, please supply us with these parts. Okay. Edward Mhumza, NTV.